Hi everybody, Steven here. It's been a little while since I did a video um, and I'll kind of explain one of the reasons why, but this is more of a channel update regarding VMware Cloud Foundation version nine. I know I have some requests for that. Uh, I'm gonna talk about one of the big changes in VCF nine, but I'm also gonna talk about some of the challenges the, chal uh, the channels have. Uh, now, for those VMUG Advantage members, you're definitely gonna to wanna to listen to this. I'd like to get your feedback on this as well. So stick around and we'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Thanks for sticking around everybody. So this is more of an update in regards with uh, VMware Cloud Foundation version nine from my channel's perspective. Uh, there's been some other content out there on, on YouTube. Uh, you've seen my videos on doing my lab upgrade to version nine. Um, one of the challenges that we have right now is getting access to the licenses. Any VMUG Advantage members out there that certified in v, um, VMware Cloud Foundation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna skip all my subscribe stuff, which I normally put in my channel, but hey, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Now, let's talk about one of the big things that's changed, actually two of the big things that have changed in VMware Cloud Foundation uh, version nine. One of them is licensing. It's no longer a license key that you type in. It's a file and it's all done through what they call VCF operations, which used to be ARIA operations. So everything is done like a license file and stuff. And that's where one of the challenges come into play, right? Uh, I used to get my software from the VMUG Advantage program. I, did, I was an employee at VMware. I used to get the software from them and that worked for, um, for quite a long time, right? It wasn't perfect, but it was better than nothing and it worked fairly nice. You could do updates and all that kind of stuff, uh, whatnot. Obviously, Broadcom's changed a lot of things uh, in regards with this. One of them is recent as April of this year. Uh, this is 2025, so April of 2025 where you can't where you have to have a support contract in order to download updates via this thing called a token right so okay great so what's one of the challenges now if you look here and this is kind of my personal pet peeve here uh and please again feel free to put your comments here let me just uh, share my screen so when you look at the VMUG Advantage program, again, I'll leave a link for this in the comments section. You look at the VMUG Advantage program, this is something you gotta pay for. Uh, I forget how much it costs. Okay, it's $210 US uh, a year. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can get with this. I've been a, a member for a very long time. I'm also a V expert as well, a member of V expert. Uh, but anyways, apart from that, but it says here, VMware by Broadcom licenses are now available for certified VMUG Advantage members. With this benefit, Advantage members who pass the VCF certification exam can access for free for personal use the VCF licenses for up to three years, okay? You gotta read more on that. I'm not gonna walk you through the whole thing. So the, the one of the big changes they did, and this was like back in uh, the November time frame, 2024, they said, okay, you gotta be a VMUG Advantage member and you also have to be certified in VCF. And there's a couple of exams that qualify. To me, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg thing. I know VMUG doesn't really have any uh, much say in this, uh, it's more of a Broadcom thing, but how do I learn VCF if I can't play with VCF? See where I'm going? But anyways, it doesn't really matter. I'm kind of okay with the certification. You know, this way they're getting more certified people, product, product awareness and stuff. So anyways, that's not the, the problem here. So when you're reading this, let's say you're new and you're going, I want to play with VCF 9. Uh, okay, so I got to do my certification um, uh, and I'll, I'll apply for the membership. One of the issues here is, with VCF 9, you don't really get access to VCF. I'm just going to say it right there and then. Um, let me go to my uh, support portal, and this is what I'll, I'll talk about. When I go to my support portal here, I'm logged into Broadcom. You can see I'm going to, if I go down to here, where is it? VMware Cloud Foundation. When I click on that, come on, you'll see VCF 9. You'll see the older versions here. Still have access to the older versions. I'll go to VCF 9 here, and you'll see I can download a lot of the stuff, which is great. That's how I was able to do that video. And so you'll see operations here, identity broker, whole bunch of stuff here. You'll see the uh, VMware Cloud Foundation installer. I'll, let me show you this one, the Cloud Foundation installer. When I click on that, this can be confusing. I'll talk about what that is in a second. 
Again, it says the SDDC manager applying. So you go, oh, what? what's going on here? That must be a mistake. I'll talk about that in a second. So we got the installer there, which is the, the main thing. Give me a minute on that one. Uh, and you'll see over here, there's ESX, there's NSX, there's uh, vSensor server as well. So uh, I, can, I can download all these individual appliances. Here, there's the vCenter server appliance. So I can install it. The issue is I can install ESXi, I can install vCenter server, I can't license it, it's only for 90 days. Okay, that's better than nothing. All right, I'll just re-image every 90 days and I can play with this. But can I play with actual VCF? Can I actually use the VCF installer, right? So let's take a look at the VCF installer. Let me just go back into um, here, actually, yeah, actually, before I do that, when we look at this important nudes here, if I click on Brock, Broadcom announcement, when I scroll down over here, they talk, if I go down to certification, come on, where is it? Oh, that might not be the, the one here. It must be the blog. Let's go back to here. Let's go to the blog. I think that's the one. And this blog kind of points out what I'm trying to, say here i'm just trying to show you folks again um uh, come on where is it there we go vcf9 due to changes in how vcf9 is installed and enabled i'll talk about that license key no longer work which i mentioned we have a project to port to support vcf9 and we'll be updating the portal to support at some time in the near future the end of the year wow uh, there are VCF9 download images with 90-day eval. I just mentioned that, right? Um, so I can install E6i. I can install vCenter server. I can set up vSAN, right? I can install NSX. So it's, it's available, but without but with without extra configuration files, these images have limited value, which I agree. So yeah, if you just want to play with vCenter, you can install NSX without any security licenses because again, the security licenses we have now for vDefend, again, which is part of the vMug program, won't work without a licensed NSX. So again, I can't play with vDefend uh, on the latest NSX. I have to go back to version four. So again, we have these issues here. Let me go into my lab environment here. This is the thing called the VCF installer. So if you're familiar with VCF VMware Cloud Foundation, and I've done some videos on it on version five, you get this thing called Cloud Builder. It was an appliance. You download it, and it contained all the binaries. You would then deploy your VMware Cloud Foundation using this Cloud Builder and this uh, um, um, Excel spreadsheet for preparation, right? And away you went, okay? This is different now. The Cloud Foundation installer is an appliance that you install, and it does exactly what it says. It will set up your VCF uh, 9 environment. And this is kind of cool because it could also do upgrades. It could also do migrations. Let's say you want to migrate from, a, you got a vSphere environment running, you want to migrate to version 9. It, it could do all that stuff for you, So, which is kind of neat. Uh, so you'll see over here, it can even deploy, if I go to Deployment Wizard, I want to deploy VMware Cloud Foundation, so that's the full suite. Or I just want to deploy vSphere Foundation, that's just like your ESX, sorry, that's like your uh, vCenter, vSAN, and ARIA Operations. Sorry, I shouldn't say ARIA Operations, VCF Operations. So this is kind of cool. This thing is really nice. This is the issue here download binaries it does not come with the software with the binaries right uh so if i click on here download settings and binary management when i go there connect to online depot all right let's click to that it's asking me for a token i don't have one that token here doesn't that token doesn't work i was just messing around right okay so i don't have a token so much for that i cannot access the the the, the, the files now how about this Offline depot. A lot of people say, set up an offline depot. Okay, that sounds really good. So I'll click on configure and you set up a web server, which I've done internally. I'll do videos on all this once I get stuff sorted out. So you can set up your own internal web server and you can do an offline uh, depot here. Now let's read up a little bit more on that. Let's go to here, read more. And this is where the challenge is, okay? Binaries, uh, scroll down, scroll down. I'll give you a sample example. Uh, so let's go to here. So I want to deploy, let's say, Cloud Foundation or vSphere Foundation. Here, again, you download this tool to get these binaries. And if you look at the parameters here, let me just scroll across. One of the parameters, offline bundle, download, download token file. So you need a token file for it. So realistically speaking, again, just like that blog said, it's very limited, right? 
I cannot play today with VCF version 9. I cannot install VCF version 9, play with the SDDC manager or any of that stuff because I'm unable to get these tokens. Now, if I've got this totally wrong, if anybody out there um, I was able to download these bundles uh, and you're a VCF, sorry, you're a VMUG Advantage member, please let me know, right? Leave comments down below. Uh, I've been in contact with VMUG the program and the VCF, VExpert program. Uh, and that was basically pretty much a, a day or two after VCF was released. So it's been a few weeks. Uh, I'm not going to mention the person at, um, uh, at VCF and Broadcom. Uh, they were very helpful. They were responding back to me really quickly, assuring me that it would be just a matter of weeks uh, for this to be resolved. But again, it has been weeks now and still kind of waiting. Uh, VMUG, I haven't heard back from you guys, right? I did notice, however, you changed your website because you used to mention on your website you get, it was VCF was good for a 90-day eval, and I put it in an email ab uh, about that, and it looks like you did update your site, but nobody's gone back to me. Um, again, VMUG Advantage program. Today is, uh, sorry, it is July 7th, 2025. Please get back to us. Let the members know what to expect um, because, uh, again, this is a little, I'm going to honestly just say this is misleading, right? Uh, anybody out there goes, I want to learn VCF 9. Oh, okay, let me, let me get this cert. Let me do this. And then uh, all of a sudden you can't play with it, right? Like I said, I can install ESX, I can install vCenter, I can install NSX without any security licenses, okay? So there's no security licenses for NSX. And again, like I said, the VMUG Advantage program, uh, what was new just a couple weeks ago, they announced lace access to V Defend licenses, which is great, uh, but that only works with version, sorry, I shouldn't say that. That will, if you want to use the latest version of VCF or NSX 9, let's say, it won't work because you don't have you're not licensed for it, right? You have to use the older version, okay? Um, but anyways, that's about it. Um, kind of a short video here. Please leave your comments and questions down below. I'm still gonna do videos. Don't worry, I haven't stopped. Uh, I got a couple more coming up. I'll probably do a video on the VCF installer. Uh, I'll probably walk you through it at least as far as I can go, uh, and then we'll take it from there. If anybody knows how I can get access to these bundles where I can do an offline depot. I'd very much appreciate it. Anybody at Broadcom that can help me out, I, get, I would very much appreciate it as well. Uh, that's about it. Thanks again. Consider supporting the channel by subscribing, and you folks have a great day. Bye for now.